Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Rare. Today we're continuing Spirit Cocktails Horror Fest because we're making another cocktail by Jordan called the River Styx. Any of you familiar with the River Styx, it's basically the river leading to the underworld, the part that once you're on it, you're in the underworld, you're going to be dead, you're staying there. You cannot escape the River Styx. And this is a very good concept he has in mind. It has like the cold darkness of the underworld. You have like the rivers on top with the black vodka. It's a pretty cool idea. So let's try this out and see exactly how it comes how it comes out and how it tastes. First thing you want to do is add some ice to your shaker. And add some ice to your glass. They want to separate. So you want to take two ounces of your vodka. And you want to take one ounce of your peppermint schnapps. And you want to shake that up. The reason why I'm saying shake it up, I don't fully know unless you're trying to infuse the flavors. Because vodka, schnapps, it's alcohol. Rule of thumb, usually when you have alcohol, no need to shake it. Unless you have a mixer or some sort in there. But I'll go with it. So you want to take that, drain it into the glass, then you want to top that with some soda water. Finally, you want to take a half ounce of your black vodka. Then you want to try to layer that on top. Now, one good thing about this ice, you could use like a spoon to help layer a little bit better. Good thing about this ice, it's flat. It's going to create that layering effect in itself. As long as it blends good, because this is not a very high ABV. It's a little lower, so in my opinion, it may drop, but we'll find out. Yeah, it does. But, yeah, even though yeah, the effect didn't really work, to the best way he designed. It's still probably gonna be a good drink. You still get the flavoring with that. The, you figure you have two high proof, well mainly one high proof alcohol and then you have something that's a little bit of sweetness. It does drop but it's not gonna have that lower ABV to counteract so you can actually add the black vodka. Now I would say maybe take the black vodka, mix it with well, since he likes to use Everclear, makes us some Everclear. I don't know. Something to help bring it above so it actually will layer correctly. Or try not to add so much alcohol to the main base to put this on top. Help maybe add a little more of a mixer to it. It'll probably work. But this is basically called the River Sticks. A little different, as you can see, from, I'm assuming, what he, his idea was. Let's try it out. Potent. You could definitely taste that peppermint schnapps. At one ounce, that's a lot of schnapps. You could taste that. It's like leaves a lot of cold after effect on your mouth. You could taste the vodka. You could the potency you're getting from that. Your mouth's actually still cold from drinking that. 
but you can get a decent amount of the black vodka flavor, which is actually a berry, wild berry flavor. So that does kind of counteract the flavor of the peppermint, give it a little bit more of a fruity flavor to help balance it out. The soda water, all it's doing is just adding some carbonation. And supposedly it's supposed to lower the ABV. But you got to add a lot to lower the ABV down to the point that it's not going to, so this will actually float on top. But this is a decent cocktail. I kind of get the idea of the River Sticks. I mean, River Sticks is a dark, desolate area. The water is almost black. So you got your black water. It doesn't necessarily have a floating effect of black with a white, clear water underneath. It's just black. It's dark water. You figure I got the bodies in there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you got the, the white spears. But anyhow, there you have it. The River Sticks by Jordan. Hope you enjoyed this cocktail. Yeah, it may not came out exactly as they expected, but it's still pretty good. And definitely like us on Facebook, Conscious Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. Visit our Patreon account. Donate what you can. If you have any idea for a cocktail, but you can't quite make a cocktail, send it my way. Give me, let's say, about $5 a cocktail, and I can actually design that for you. But as always, drink responsibly.